Good evening again. Today is June the 16th, 2024. Um, today's video is really much an appreciation one. Um, it, it's, I just want to say a big massive thank you to certain people, but we'll, we'll come onto that in a little while. But just a quick, I always start a quick history for any person who's watched me for the first time. I think on my last video I had about 40% of the people who weren't subscribed and may have seen uh, me doing my videos and not know uh, my history. So I got diagnosed with prostate cancer in December 22. Uh, I had a positive margin and most of the Gleason scores were a 3 plus 4. Had the operation, uh, the prostatectomy in April 23 to remove it from the body and although the um, early diagnosis was okay. We had a, um, a relapse in January 24. The PSA went to 0 0.2 and I was lucky enough to <coughs> to um, go to oncology and start radiation. We had 20 doses of radiation from uh, every day from April to May just gone um, which was wasn't easy it's not the hardest thing in the world but um, to get your body correct each day with your bowels and your bladders and everything wasn't the easiest but uh, we, we were okay uh, we're now sort of three weeks um, out of that and um, bladder wise yes I'm going quite often to be honest um, bowel no problem at all with the bowels is just um, those who know about radiation knows the radiation st still carries on weeks after um, you, you have your last dose. So we have a NHS blood test here in Norwich the third week of July and the last day of July I have a meeting with the oncology doctor to see if it's worked or not. But if you watched my video just gone uh, last week um, I did mention that I had done a private test or two in Latvia and the early indication, the early results um, are looking good actually. We'd gone from 0 0.20 down to 0 0.09 so things are going in the right direction. <coughs> um, I just really want to personally thank um, each and every person on here who's hit the subscribe button and followed my journey from the start. Um, I would never imagine at the start that uh, I'd be two away from 1,500 subscribers. For me it's truly remarkable. Um, to get 100 subscribers is a is a fantastic feat for me but to be two away from 1,500 is just unbelievable. Yes I'm a small fish in, in, in the YouTube world. Um, I was talking to my mate Rick from Tenerife who'd hit the 10,000 mark but his, his mark is totally different to mine. And I know that um, my market is, 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 is very small. There's a lot of people who are not, not interested in prostate uh, cancer. I know that. So to have 1,500 people who's took the time to, again, hit that um, subscribe button and um, listen to me rabble on. Since my start of a channel, I've looked at my analytics and I've had over 160,000 views on all my channels. It's not all about prostate. If you do subscribe to me, you will see some walks around uh, some Suffolk towns and here in Norfolk as well. And I'm going to continue to do them this summer when the actual uh, summer comes here. It's been a very cold start to the summer. It's been 12, 13 degrees today with, with rain. So hopefully it'll break and I can get out a bit more at the weekend and do, do some more videos. Uh, five, 5.4 thousand uh, likes um, and nearly a thousand comments uh, on all my videos again with 99.99 percent .99 comments been really really positive you do get the odd person who knows all but there you're going to get that with everything so since the start of my journey i believe i've kept really sort of positive um, about tackling this horrible disease i've been open uh, anybody who knows me at work and the village where I live knows me. I will talk all day about it. You know, again, my problem is a shared problem, and I, fa I found that by talking it out, it, it, it makes me feel better. 
and say everybody everybody do suffer from mental health issues from time to time but seeing on a daily basis on an hourly basis people watching my videos and subscribing really does and I can guarantee you certainly keeps you going certainly keeps you positive to know that one video could be out to the that one person who um, who I could try and help um, I, I am a bit of a stats person I do like to see uh, on, a, on a daily basis how many views we get and what times um, we get them and who's watching whether there's the Americans the Australians Canadians or the or the British um, and so the comments which people left me have been absolutely remarkable to hear people go and to get tested for PSA at their local GPs after watching my uh, videos really does make it worthwhile um, doing all these little videos and say so if, if you do subscribe to my videos you'll know in my earlier um, part of the journey I have done some like um, tips and tricks and ad advice to help with people's anxiety who are now going to come up with the operation or with the start of the radiation um, I've tried to be like a guinea pig I've been trying to be the person who tell it as it is um, as you see from these videos I don't edit nothing so we, we just say it as we see it and I'm just hoping that people can take advice from me of um, what to do and what not to do and, and different things so with the videos uh, with the comments I get sorry uh, I do know certainly I've helped a lot of people when it comes to preparing themselves for um, the operation uh, physically and and mentally so I just want to say a, a, some big thank yous um, again you know close family friends and work colleagues uh, who who listen to me day in day out you know I can't thank them enough put up with me talking about it not all day every day but um, you know I'm, I'm people do ask me questions at work and I'm more than open to 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 say anything but one of the big people who who's really helped me is I um, we have a Tenerife friends Facebook group which we literally are um, a load of people who go to Tenerife we all watch the different vlogs from Rick Shelley Tim and others who do vlogs from Tenerife we are all like um, people who just comment and we decided to set up a Facebook group it's called Tenerife friends and um, you know we get it's, it's just one extended family to be honest and there's a lot of people on there who do watch these videos and who comment and really really have helped uh, through the way so just to name just a few you've got Rick Rick Cosgrove who has um, he lives over there he has a uh, uh, um, two channels his biggest one today is at 10,000 uh, subscribers which is Rick and Shelley if anybody who is on the island of Tenerife uh, goes over there especially down the south please make sure you go and watch Shelley she is undoubtedly the best female singer on the island she is absolutely superb absolutely brilliant and Rick and Shelley um, Rick does a lot of um, other things as well he has his own little channel called just Rick which is more um, sort of a one-to-one -one channel and he's always plugging my channel to people who are watching his lives and that also goes for Tim Tim Dowd who also has his living with MS in Tenerife channel um, I've known Tim for maybe five or six years and again he's also plugging my little channel as we go along giving me some shape out so them two have been absolutely fantastic to me and some of the um, people who have joined Tenerife friends Anne Marie Ellen, uh, Mr. B, uh, again Trisha Slater, who I know well, and Ali Bennett from Bristol, and Al's vlogs from um, from Scotland, who has offered me to have a beer with him in the Arona Gran in Los Cristianos, which I will be taking up his offer in March. Uh, so um, there was so many I can name I can name so many more. I say in our Tenerife friends group, we now have over seven hundred and thirty. Uh, members and it's just uh, a little group to uh, tips and tricks and if people are coming over there they can just ask questions and we've got a lot of knowledge about the island from people who are members 
So the Tenerife Friends group have been fantastic to me. Zelda Carr will also, she also always messaged me after watching my Yvonne Chambers. She always messaged me after my, my videos, so many thanks to them. And also some very people across the world who I don't know at all. I've got a guy called Larry from Malaysia. Again, he always watches every video. He always comments. Mike Rose in New Zealand. Don't know him from Adam, but he's always um, supporting me. General Ngai um, from New York, I believe. Um, so he's always always been there. But one of the guys who has donated to my channel, I like a super thanks, which I say, um, I don't know him at all. There's a guy called Big Bear. Name-wise, I don't really know. I think he used to work in the medical profession in America. And um, he sort of donated on a couple of my um, videos. So, as I said to him, um, many thanks. You know, as you know, I don't ask for absolutely nothing. And I have told him that all the money he has donated um, does go to um, a place called Deerham Cancer Care, which um, is a community-based charity here in Norfolk. And they do an absolutely fantastic job for people who want to go for tea, coffee, and a chat um, just in a, a local centre. So many thanks to people. Say Trish as well. She's um, donated to me. Um, Lainey as well. Um, with the videos, I like people to see an honest, straight talking, um, no editing. Um, it's just off the cuff. As as I see, I got my, I have got my notes. I am cheating a little bit. Um, but it's I decided I don't edit. I just want to um, just tell you as and what I'm going through. Um, so where we are at the minute. Well, I was so happy that the NHS in Norwich gave me the opportunity to video one of the radiation sessions. Um, there's a few loopholes I had to go through and some red tape we had to you know cover to to actually video one of them. I say those people who do subscribe to me will see a radiation session. Again, I know it's boring, but to um, that one person who's gonna be coming up for their radiation, I've the comments I've had on that, it's really helped with people's anxiety. So where are we now? Um, the journey hasn't finished yet, so I've just had 20 doses of radiation, which finished in middle of May. I've now got to wait until the third week of July. So, what I'll be doing after that is just, I suppose, hopefully, um, it'll be undetected again. So, and I'll be having a regular PSA test. But I want to keep the channel going. I want to be looking at all the different technology, what's coming out, and see if I can um, um, learn about that. And as I say, all we had some news at the start of this week about some new um, dye they can be putting into the body to, instead of PSA, this new technology, which will new test they're going to start coming out here with uh, in the UK um, so I'm gonna try and sort of go down that route to try and explain to people what's coming up um, I say if my journey is three monthly I want to try and do some in between to try and keep people um, informed so again it just just takes me to say uh, say thank you very 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 much for every person who again subscribed viewed and who's listened to me rabble on over the last year so 1,500 in a year is just is just absolutely brilliant. So thank you very much for watching. I will keep you updated with my uh, latest PSA test, which is in July, and uh, we'll go from there. So thanks very much. Cheers.